For up to 10 hours a day, these young girls and boys are put through regimented training routines that are designed to make them Olympic champions. This school in Hangzhou, one of several sports schools in China, where children as young as four are stretched to the limit in the pursuit of an acquired dream. Many have been plucked from rural villages, moving away from their family with the promise of sporting glory. Others have their progress watched by eager parents, willing their child to succeed. It's good for her bodybuilding. She started from nursery school and has been training for four years now. China has rejected criticism of its intense coaching methods. These kind of techniques have been condemned as archaic and cruel. Parallels are often drawn with the military. But the headmaster of this school says there's a price for success. No hard work, no gain. It's different from other jobs. It requires sweat and blood to become outstanding. There are almost half a million Chinese children being trained in these elite academies, and only 10% will ever make it to national or Olympic level. With so many students competing for so few places on the Olympic team, the chances of these boys and girls realizing their dream are very small. Those who don't will have sacrificed their childhood for a talent that wasn't quite good enough. Jiang Shang Wu was once bound for the Olympics. Now he's homeless and sells bracelets in the Beijing subway. An injury forced him to retire when he was just 18. I was recruited when I was six years old and trained like a professional. I have no education, no job skills. We should be treated like those leaving the army and get some sort of support. China has thousands of former athletes like Yang coping with a shattered Olympic dream. But still every year hundreds more enter a schooling system where only gold is good enough. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Hangzhou.